Hello, this video will guide you through preparing for the Return to Learn Professional Learning Day on September 1st. The professional learning options offered on September 1st will focus on maximizing learning in the virtual environment, curriculum and pacing, 4x4 schedule, social emotional learning, culturally responsive practices, feedback in a remote setting, balanced assessment, and effective grading practices. There are four types of session that the teachers will be able to choose from for these days. Essential synchronous and choice synchronous sessions will be held throughout the day using either Google Meet or Zoom. Essential asynchronous and choice asynchronous sessions will be available using Schoology. Teachers will be able to register for these sessions in Frontline beginning on August 24th. Registration closes on August 31st. While signed into your VBCPS Google account, use the link below to get your own copy of the Return to Learn Professional Learning Schedule. This document will help you to plan out your professional learning schedule for September 1st. When you click on that bit.ly link or type that bit.ly link in, you'll see this prompt that, to copy the document. Click make a copy and it will be creating your own version, your own copy of the Return to Learn Professional Learning Planning document. Recommend going ahead and changing the title to include your name. I'll do mine now. This document is going to come in very handy for your planning throughout the day. In order to access the schedule, there's a hyperlink right here that will actually take you to the offerings that we have available, and then we're going to work through how to map that out onto your plan. Okay, begin by first determining your essential synchronous sessions. It's important to do this first because the essential synchronous sessions are only offered at specific times depending on the subject area. For example, if I'm an Algebra 1 teacher, I'm going to go looking specifically where Algebra 1 falls on our September 1 detailed professional learning in-service document. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through that. It's important that you're able to find the ones that you're looking for specifically. Okay, first we're going to look through the essential synchronous and make sure we can navigate and find what we need for our role. So if I were an Algebra 1 teacher, for example, I can see that there is an Algebra 1 essential a synchronous session right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Oops, I've got two of them. I'm going to copy just the algebra one. And I can copy that right into my document, my planning document. So that link and the title is now copied in. So I know, okay, that's the algebra one essential uh, synchronous session. You can go back and now look for it any other essentials for Algebra 1. I don't see anything else on there that's required for me. So that is my only essential synchronous session. Now that I've got my essential synchronous um, scheduled on my, on my plan at 10 o'clock, I can go ahead and find some choice synchronous sessions. These might be things that um, I'm interested in specifically because of my role. Some of the choice sessions are really relevant for all staff. Some are specific, like this IXL, for example, would be for either math or English secondary teachers uh, to use. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and look at my um, choice sessions, the choice synchronous on the big plan. So the choice synchronous sessions are underneath this other heading, choice synchronous. I'm going to click down to that. It'll bring me down to this other bookmarked chart. In terms of math, I can see that I've got a 10 o'clock option which wouldn't work because I already have a session right then, but I have some other 11 o'clock, 12.30, 1.30, and so on. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the IXL session, which is a double block. So that means that it's gonna fill up both my, both my uh, 12.30 and 1.30 slots. Copied that, I'm gonna paste that into my document. To make it simple, I'm just gonna paste it into both blocks. You could merge them if you'd like. When I return back, I might also find a session that I like that is a choice 
a uh, choice synchronous session that's for everybody. So for example, I'm really interested in teaching on the four by four. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule that one. And if you notice, that one wouldn't actually work because at 1.30, I'm already in my IXL. So I'm going to go down to the one below it at 2.30 and grab that session. Copy, paste it into my plan. Okay, that is it for the synchronous sessions for me. I'm going to go ahead and um, pop out of this and go back and look for some asynchronous things. Again, teachers are not expected to fill up their schedule for every minute this day in terms of professional learning. We want to focus first on their essential synchronous and then the choice synchronous options that it might be available to them. And then if they would choose um, some other options, they could have some asynchronous learning filling in these gaps around the day or perhaps meetings with some PLC leads and things like that. It's important to note that some of the teachers will have essential asynchronous classes that they have, sessions that they have to complete. Um, some of the science teachers, OPEC teachers, and some health and PE teachers, for example, I know there are some essential asynchronous out there. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at those to make sure. In terms of the Algebra 1 example I'm using, there aren't any essential asynchronous for that particular content area. But all teachers do need to complete the strategic moves in virtual learning, which is available through um, coordination with your ITS in your building. Okay, remember when looking at the big chart, we started at the top with the essential synchronous and then choice synchronous. And now we're gonna work our way down to the essential asynchronous se section. In this section, I have some information about um, departments that have specific essential asynchronous sessions linked. So if, for example, you're a science teacher, secondary health and PE, or an OPEC teacher, you'll want to go ahead and click on these links to go and investigate to see if you have any essential asynchronous that you might be able to fill in on that day. Many of these sessions are available previous to, prior to uh, September 1st, and will continue to be available beyond September 1st. So it depends on your um, content area. So please reach out to them if you have any questions, your coordinators can help you navigate that. Many content areas have choice asynchronous sessions available. I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing the sessions that are relevant for all secondary teachers, however. This chart where you look to the left over here says choice asynchronous. Well, if you click that, it'll take you to this heading. And there's a chart here that lists several different courses that are really relevant for a lot of different teachers in our division, sometimes K through 12, sometimes secondary focused. These will be available through Schoology. If you look at the description, there's usually going to be a Schoology course code in there. And these are available asynchronously for a variety of time ranges. Some of them begin in August, some of them begin September 1st. Um, regardless, these are all going to be able to be completed asynchronously beyond or outside of September 1st. You can certainly work on them on September 1st if you had a lot of open time throughout that day. So you can see there's several different options here that will focus on balanced assessment, small group instruction, feedback, and developing uh, relationships in a virtual environment. Going with the Algebra 1 example again, knowing that I have several um, hours available throughout that day so far, I can go ahead and build in some time for some of these sessions. I'm going to go ahead and take this building authentic relationships in a virtual setting and copy it and paste it in to my 8 o'clock time slot. Since I don't have anything going on early in the morning that day, I can go ahead and do that one at that time. I'm going to go ahead and also get the, let's see, I'm going to take a look at the balancing act for balanced assessment. And I can copy this one and put that into my nine o'clock time slot. Again, they could be taken at any time. I just know I happen to have these open time slots to make my plan for the day. I'm going to leave the 11 o'clock open and the 3.30 open in case I have something that's math specific that I run across that's a choice asynchronous that I want to work on. In addition to the 
choice asynchronous that are for all secondary teachers. There's also some that are subject uh, specific. So I'm going to take a look at the math teacher one specifically here. Math teachers choice asynchronous. There's a link. It'll take me out to a document prepared by our math coordinators. It has some a variety of different options available. Sometimes the bookmark will take a second to load. So just bear with it. It'll take you right to these choice asynchronous options. Here we go. So I am interested in these, the webinar repository. Again, this is something that I can do in Schoology at any time. Uh, I have some time available in the afternoon, so I think I might be able to take a look at some of those. So I'm going to copy that and end my day with that. Go back to my plan and paste that in at the end of my day. I look one more time if I return to learn secondary options. They also have this one about Bitmojis, which seem to be pretty popular right now. I'm kind of curious about how I can enhance my environment with Bitmojis. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that one as well. And go back to my plan. I believe I have a little time before lunch and I'm going to paste that one in there. And you can see that this is a full day. So there's no, um, no expectation in terms of Department of Teaching and Learning that uh, teachers are filling their day every single minute with things like this. But we just wanted to show you that there are options available. Remember to focus on the essential synchronous first. And that is important to um, lock down that time. So now we have a pretty full schedule here. I'm going to go ahead and take this information and register in Frontline and then circle back and make sure I have all of the links and course codes and everything in one place to make this navigating easy. Teachers should go to Frontline to register for all of these sessions that they've decided to take on their September 1st Professional Learning Day. To get to Frontline, you have to go to the internet and log in. Once you're there in the catalog, you can search return to learn and the synchronous September 1st options for both essential and choice sessions will populate. When you visit vbcps.com, our SharePoint site, under applications, you'll find frontline professional growth. And you can click on that and then log right in to frontline to register for your courses. Once you're in Frontline, go ahead and click on the catalogs. And in order to locate the synchronous sessions quickly, you can type in return to learn in the search term, and it will populate the return to learn sessions that are synchronously offered on September 1st. Pay close attention to the descriptions as you're registering for these courses because sometimes they'll direct you back to the chart to get the links and sometimes they'll have the actual links included within their description here in Frontline. So we want to gather up all your Zoom links and things like that as you're working through. So it's important just to take note of that in the descriptions here and or back in the chart here. Okay, once you've registered for everything in Frontline, you can go ahead and check them off if you want. You don't have to do this part, but certainly can um, to just let yourself know. I know I registered for that and I can just check them all off. And then I'm going to circle back in just a few minutes after I check them off to get all of the links and everything prepared in this right column to make my day a little bit easier to navigate. I know that that's one of the challenges we run into is where are all of the links. So it's important to give yourself a nice one-stop shop for links like this and something you might want to consider if you're working with students in a variety of different ways with a lot of different links. You want to give them a nice organized way to have their links available quickly. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I got these codes over here and links. Make sure that you um, have your descriptions available for any of the sessions that you registered for because you're going to want to just post um, right in here and um, where it says links, you can paste in either the course codes for your Schoology courses or the Zoom links or Google Meet links for any of the sessions that you're going to be completing. Okay, I know that I signed up for building authentic relationships in a virtual setting with Katie Cirilli. So I'm going to go ahead and get this course code right here, copy it. This is for a Schoology course. So I want to make sure I realize this is not a link to a Zoom. 
because this is an asynchronous course. I'm going to paste it in here where it says links, really a code, but that's to help me know I need to go to Schoology and join that course. Again, same thing for Balancing Act. I can go back to the chart, find the Balancing Act. And these course codes are also um, in the descriptions in Frontline usually, so um, most of the coordinators were able to get those in the descriptions there to make it simpler for you to navigate. If you're not sure of a course code or a link, you can always reach out to the coordinator and they can help you with that too. The algebra one, I know I have that on my secondary math. So I'm gonna go find that, or I can just click on it because I actually created a little link right to it here. And there is, I believe, a Zoom link available for me to paste in for this. So I'm gonna grab that Zoom link and this is a synchronous one, so um, since it's synchronous, I need to make sure that I have, have the link ready for Zoom. Algebra 1, right there. So I'm going to copy that URL and go back to my chart and paste that in. Okay. Again, repeat this for each of your sessions. If you're not sure what the Zoom or course code is, you can always reach out to your coordinator for assistance with that. They'll be happy to give you the proper codes. Thank you for your time today. I hope that you guys are able to um, figure out which sessions you want to take on September 1st. And remember to focus in on the essential synchronous first and prioritize those sessions and then fill in some choice sessions around those. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to your coordinators and or your assistant principals and principals for guidance with this. Um, don't forget to register in Frontline. The sessions registration for the synchronous sessions uh, do close out on August 31st. So it's important that you get in and register before then. Thanks again, bye.